Hello, hello. Welcome on into another episode of the Whiskey Crusaders. I'm Will. And I'm Matt. On today's liqueur series, we're exploring Arrow and their black raspberry liqueur. Don't you forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Click that notification bell. Matt, you want to tell me a little bit more about this uh, particular liqueur I we do. got on this Saturday? So we get this very fancy Arrow black raspberry liqueur. Ooh, it's got blackberries on it. Pretty. Or black raspberries. Whatever. It's a pretty bottle. Mm, not really. It's a basic basic bottle. It's a, you know, a one liter bottle. I think I paid $7 for it in college. You can see I drank a lot of it in almost 20 years. So great job. So you know, It's amazing. That's so this is a thing on the top. Yeah, exactly. So all it tells you on their whole uh, website is like, hey, we started in the early 20th century with secret fan recipes from Europe. Yay. And then Luxico bought us out in 1999. Yes, and Will's face is like, oh, no. But it's 15%, so woo -hoo. They also make schnapps, brandies, liqueurs, cordials, and creams. So I know that we have several of these, and Will's going to be so excited to try these. So let's see what we think. It so like, much sugar sweetness. Yeah, I mean, it smells like black raspberries. I mean, clearly it's very artificial, sugary. This takes and me back to, the, to my childhood and eating snow cones. Oh my gosh, it so does. You're right. This would be a snow. This would be like the, this probably actually be awesome over something. Speaking of, we got to get that going too. The snow cone thing that's been put off for two years now. Yeah, this. I mean, it, it smells like a like a syrup that that would be drizzled like syrup over top of ice. or um, what are those uh, like a Tootsie Roll pop? One yeah. of those uh, sweet, you know, with chocolate in the middle. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there is almost a cocoa vibe going on in there. Yeah. Man, not so a whole lot more on that. I mean, it's definitely milk chocolate. It's like sweet, sweet, sweet. Agree. Man. I'm sure there's some beautiful coloring and sugar at it. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, so much sugar. Mm hmm. Oh, it hurts my teeth. That's so much sugar. It's so thick and oily. It's like syrup. It really is. It's super thick. Whoa. I could put some pancakes and it'd be delicious. This is it's it tastes exactly like black raspberry should. Well, I say I think that little bit of that chocolate in there with the black raspberry. This is like reminds me of what's that syrup company? Oh like log cabin or something like that. No, no, no Knott's Berry Farm. That's what it was. The Knott's Berry Farm as a kid had a black raspberry syrup I used to we used to have as kids and this tastes exactly like that and about the same consistency so I think it's gonna be great on pancakes definitely as an additive uh, maybe if you need to add a little bit to, to fruity up a drink of it maybe yeah that's, that's the only thing I come up with I mean I know they have a bunch of cocktails on their you know website or whatever but it's like let's be honest it's just cheap chambroy let's let's all be honest what this really is I'm gonna have chambroy here I didn't send Will any because Will doesn't care. He doesn't want to drink this anyway. So I figured I would try it just to see real I, quick. I can tell you that Chambord is one of our uh, better uh, better watched videos. Absolutely. As well. It's the same so color. Harrison. The bottle is definitely, you're paying a lot more for that Chambord yes. bottle. That's for sure. Oh, I'm not sure the Chambroid actually might be sweeter. Really? Yeah, it's but it, although it's it smells way less artificial. It smells more like the real black raspberries. Mm. Mm. Okay, there's way more sweetness in chocolate on the Chambroid, a little bit less oily, but in a good way. I, mean, I think Chambroid's better, but hey, for you know basically a third of the price, fourth of the price, yeah, if it's about a fourth, you really can't beat it. Going from 30, 35 bucks to seven dollars. So you know. yeah. I mean it's good. I mean, I wouldn't complain for seven bucks. Great job. But hey, I've had it for over 20 years. So yay. So Still does exactly what it was supposed to when you bought it 20 years ago. How about exactly? All right then. Hang Great on. Uh, anything to toast? Like, I don't have any whiskey. Not, oh my God, that's dude. not gonna work. Yeah, we uh, 
You know, it was good. I, meant, I bought it for cocktails. Mr. Boston book said that I needed one of these, so I bought one. I wish I could find some more Mr. Boston products. I only have a think of peppermint schnapps left from Mr. Boston, of the actual balls of Mr. Boston. But we'll review that someday for you guys. But for now, we have this one from Arrow. And he found whiskey, and he's much happier. All righty. Don't you forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Click that notification bell. We're also live every Monday night. Come hang out with us there. Join the conversation. Become part of the community. Until next time, keep on crocheting for the liquids in your glass. Cheers. Cheers. I was like, I'm not even sending you comparisons. Like, there's no point. You don't want to drink this. I saved you. It's all good. I appreciate you. Oh, I figured you did.